Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Merva, and we are playing Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> uh, ignore my weird thumb. Uh, nugget bit through the pad of my fingertip. Not through the nail bed, thankfully. Off to the side. He was chewing on something, and I tried to get away from him, and he crunched down just as I was trying to get it out of his mouth. So, I didn't have any band-aids that worked, because it's kind of like it's... He literally bit through the flesh from one end to the other. So I, this is what works. So here we go. I'm going to try to play with this finger. It, it, it looks pretty okay. It doesn't hurt. Um, <laughs> also, I have a really cute shirt on today. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. This isn't an ad. I just really love it. And it's definitely something that I thought I would share with you guys. Because you might love it too. Bard is my IRL class. And so this company, My Nerd Life, makes a bunch of class-oriented stuff. They do it by race. They do some WoW stuff. Um, mostly D&D stuff, but it's very cool. If that's your jam, feel free to check them out. Just want to support some great small businesses. Because that's what we should do as a community. As a gaming nerd community is stand up for each other. Support each other. Yeah. Okay, so we have pretty much almost explored this entire fort. We need to go and actually, like, oh, there's so much blood. Do the whole damn thing. Sorry, be patient with me. This clunky band aid is kind of making it difficult. Also, putting a lot of pressure on my thumb doesn't feel great. <laughs> So bear with me as I use, like, my knuckle, the lower one, instead of the pad of my finger. Oh, uh, okay, I guess we can all come up here. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> gonna jump right back down. I know we did that one. I don't think we missed anything else. Pretty sure we got everything we needed to. Pretty damn sure. What are those? Just more ladders? Okay. Also, a happy Dragon Age Day! I know the community is in a state of unrest at the moment, uh, now that Casey Hudson and Mark Dara have resigned, but there's still an amazing team of creators who are working on the project Dragon Age 4. So. Let's have faith in them, with Patrick Weeks at the helm, but keep in mind that they are supported by a huge staff of creatives. It's not just one person who makes Dragon Age or Mass Effect. So, let's try to be positive. Twitter's just been in an uproar today, especially about uh, Critical Role as well. Now, I'm not up to date on Critical Role, but golly, the community is just in a tizzy. All the bad parts of it. Let me correct that. My part of Critical Role that I'm exposed to are very sweet and wholesome and are like, guys, let's be good to each other and kind. Let's not bitch at the creators for playing the game the way they want to. I don't understand exactly what went on, but I think some... Oh, okay, we can just fall down too. That also works. Some ships ended up happening that some people in the community were upset with. They had other plans for these ships. And characters didn't get paired off in the way they wanted it to. And so people were, like, straight up ugly. Like, I retweeted, uh, reblocked, reposted some of Matt Mercer's... Ooh, it's kind of... combat's kind of rough. With this wonk thumb. Retweeted some of his uh, commentary on that. Because I, I feel how exhausting it is sometimes to, like, really want to interact with your community and stuff. But sometimes there are just those, like, really bad apples that, like, do their damnedest to make sure that either the creator's not having a good time, or they're just being really surly and ruining everyone else's time, they're not being respectful, whatever it is. You, you, you get your, uh, you know, your dregs at the bottom of that barrel. And so, 
I felt for him, and I feel for Critical Role. You know, I'm just kind of running down this hill, <laughs> chatting amicably without really any sense of direction. But what is that? What is that other thing on our map? What is this? Okay, yeah, I don't, that's not my quest marker. Get out of here. I'm gonna continue down this way, even though, maybe not. Was there a path down here? TLDR, guys be good to each other. Be kind. Don't shit on other people's idea of a good time. Oh, we gotta go up there. Oh, I am mistaken. I have been going the wrong way. Like, just because... I'm sure there are people who don't like... Oh, I forgot I can't climb. I can't climb, right? Yeah. There are people who don't like to play Dragon Age the way that I do, right? And that's that's fair. That's fine. We're all going to have different ways that we enjoy things, right? But you will not catch me running over to somebody else's content and being like... Angry typing and telling them how awful I think it is that they play a dragonborn blade singer. That's D&D. &D. Not, not, not Dragon Age. But you get the idea. I mean, technically, you should play a blade singer outside of, you know, being an elf, because it's almost exclusively taught in Evermeet. But, lore aside, if that's what somebody wants to play in their game, that's what they're going to play in their game. Now, I have the option not to play with them, but that doesn't mean I need to shit talk. People are going to enjoy shit different ways. Let them do it. They're not hurting anybody. Okay, this is what I wanted. I like how I went everywhere but here. <laughs> it's okay, we're chatting, having a good time. And I'm just trying not to, like, press my finger onto this, like, control stick too weirdly. I can't believe he sheared right through my flesh. <laughs> that was not a good crunch. Poor baby. He's just a dumb baby. He didn't even know what he did. I just kind of yelped and, like, yanked away from him and he was like, Mom? He doesn't know. The rusted horn. Oh, are they having a good time? What in? <gasps> ah, what? Wonderful. The Inquisitor? We didn't know you were here, sir. Please don't tell anyone. What? How did you get past the guards? There weren't any when we got here. We just heard you killed the bandits, your worship. We didn't know you were moving in, we promise. You won't tell people we were here, will you? Ah. <sighs> We don't need to malign their choice of romantic locations. It's clearly, like, in front of a fireplace, some people's jam is on a bear skin rug in front of a fireplace. Or a druffalo? That looks more druffalo. Bears don't have tails like that. My lips are sealed. Oh, oh thank Cole. you. Lonnie's mum and dad would have had my head. <gasps> Lonnie and Milton? We'll have to wait an hour to go back. Your father will still be up. I knew this was a mistake. It's okay. You try the caves. You hate spiders. You find somewhere next time. It's okay, guys. No need to worry. As long as I can't actually see anything, we're good to go. And I will leave. Can we go out this door? Okay, we can go out that door, but let me look upstairs first. And I like how we got approval from our very empathetic parties. Party members. I should say. Ooh. The First Blight, Chapter 1. I didn't... Okay, there we go. I'm like super wary now. I check to make sure that we've got these. I'm always afraid of reading one that we've already read. Thetis is a land of fierce diversity. From the assassin princes of Antiva to the faded griffins of the Anderfels. But in my travels, I have found one tale that unites the people of this land. It is a story of pride and damnation, and although the telling differs, the essence of the tale remains the same. At the height of its power, the Tevinter Imperium stretched over much of Thetis. 
Uniting the known world under the rule of the tyrannical magisters, it is said that the old gods whom the magisters worshipped gave them the knowledge of blood magic, and the magisters used the forbidden power to cement their rule. The blood of elven slaves and humans alike ran down imperial altars to fuel magister greed. The tales of their excess so horrifying that one can only be grateful that blood magic is prohibited today. Well. <sighs> But all that stands tall must eventually fall. Perhaps they foresaw their ruin, or perhaps their pride knew no bounds. But whatever the reason, the Magisters dared to open a magical portal into the Golden City, at the heart of the Fade. They sought to usurp the Maker's throne, long left unattended in the Golden City after the Maker turned his back on his creations. They would storm heaven itself with their power, and become as gods. This is what the Chantry, in its oft-exercised tendency to understate, refers to as the Second Sin. According to most versions of the tale, the Magisters did indeed reach the Golden City and walked into the home of the Maker, where no living being before them had dared, or been able, to tread. But humanity is not meant to walk in heaven. The Magisters were wicked with pride and other sins, and their presence tainted the Golden City. It was once a perfect, a holy citadel became a twisted home of darkness and nightmares. The Magisters were expelled back through their gateway and cursed for their treachery. As the Golden City had been tainted, so were the Magisters twisted and transformed into things of darkness, the very first of the Darkspawn. The Golden City, once a shining beacon at the heart of the Fade, became the Black City, a reminder of all that man's pride has cost. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis by Brother Genitivi, a Chantry scholar. Nice. It's always a delight to read his stuff. I really appreciate the lore. People work so hard on putting these universes together, guys. The Rusted Horn's menu. Ooh! Welcome to the Rusted Horn! Ayo, three coppers. I love this shit. I love this little piece of immersion. I always wonder when we go into taverns and D&D &D and stuff, um, and other tabletop varieties, how much things cost. I want to know that. I want to know what the tavern's serving for dinner. I want to know if people are hanging out by the fire. Are people chatting? How many people are working at the bar? Like, is there a performer that I can tip? I love all this. These just little bitty aspects that help better flesh out and provide context to these experiences. Fucking love it. I'm here. I'm here for it. Cold ale, 10 coppers. Wine, 2 silver. Brandy, and even 6 silver. Bread and cheese, 2 coppers. Turnip and mutton pie, 3 coppers. Fish, 3 coppers. Stew, 4 coppers. Plate of Wervin. Wyvern. I always say Wervin. Wyvern wings, really chicken. 5 coppers. Wyvern steak, real, two gold. I love this shit. There's also um, that individual on TikTok. Quincy's Tavern, I believe? I, I don't know his handle, but I'll look for it so I can put it in here and credit him for his idea. Really, really amazing. He like goes through and acts as the innkeeper. So when you come through on quests or wanna buy things, like how much, a gold a night, what will this get me? A silver a night, what will this provide me? I love that shit. It's so good. I would love to do little skits like that someday. It's it's just so wholesome and great. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to gush about all the things that I love today. But it's it's some much needed positivity. Yeah. And hopefully sharing the things that I love with you guys will show you guys things that you might like as well. Okay. I don't want to enter Questwood. Questwood. That's where we came from. That just reminds me of Joshua Wiseman whenever he says uh, that things are quispy. It's for the memes. It's definitely ubu. Like, it's intentional. Sorry for being cringe. <laughs> Did we do it? The mayor said Darkspawn destroyed these controls ten years ago. Who repaired them? The mayor? His shame had this shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is why I bring Cole along. I mean, that was my theory in the first place, but it's nice to hear Cole um, 
support it, to second it. Okay, so now we need to find an entrance to the caves. That's the way we came in. I think that's the only way we can go. All right, now that our adorable tavern... Oh, climb down. Oh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Can I jump? Am I pressing the wrong key? No. I just wasn't... An okay. impressive creature. There is a purity in such undiluted power. Is she chill? Also, interesting comment, Solus. Oh, look how big those chains are. It reminds me of the big old chains in a... God, where is that area in WoW? Is there another area that I can climb down to? No, it's just loot. Uh, is it Black Rock? Black Rock Mountain? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? <gasps> mm -mm, not doing that today. Shit, look at that destruction, though. I think it's just for show, but... Fuck. Oh, shit, this is old Crestwood! This is the stuff that was flooded. Alright, let's get over there. This shit's cool. Like, very sad that they died. I, I'm t <laughs> it's a cool mechanic. Cool narrative. To have this flooded city uncovered. It's so cool. Alright, old Crestwood, here we come. This is so cool. I'm just really about discovering and exploring ruins, I think. God, people haven't walked here for so long. You're the first ones here. That's right, we gotta recover some bodies too. So we gotta go further in. Hmm. Looks like there's a rift right there, so let's deal with that. Look at all the seaweed. Because you know, this has been underwater for so long. Oh. Oh, hi. Come on, weird bum. We can do it. Oh, look at Cole's cool abilities! Cool. That was really cool. What the fuck? How are there still, like, scrolls? Maybe they're in cases and I just can't tell. You would think those would have just degraded completely. Um, yeah. We did need to grab more flowers and shit, didn't we? I everything is a flower to me. Plants. Urban. Apologies for the inaccurate terminology. I just colloquialize everything. Everything gets a nickname. Is it opening? Kinda. I guess maybe we should go deal with that. Just in case it's going to be a problem at some other point in time. It is right here. Kinda on the path. The big chains are real cool though. They're real cool. She says that she goes in the opposite direction. Look, I'm getting there, okay? I wanted to walk along the beach because I'm not going to come back this way. Oh, this settling mist. Aesthetic. Bioware does such a great job. I feel like I see like every time. <laughs> but it's true. And I have to explore everything, so be patient. Oh, KS. Oh, just random things of gold. Oh, several. 
Sorry, I was trying to get the one that I was, like, standing on, but... Apparently I couldn't. Embryon. I'm down with some obsidian. I need some more... Dawn Lotus, I think it was? Okay, I think that's as far as we can go. This is not water that I'd want to take a swim in. I'm gonna have to say no thank you to that. God, it's such a weird concept to even consider, like, going swimming at this point. Now that we're, like, what, like, nine months into the pandemic? Like, it's, it's just such a wild concept. Like, I haven't gone to a restaurant or, like, done anything with a group of people at a public setting in so long. It's almost like a foreign concept now. Okay. Oh, ow. Sorry. Things are wonky with the thumb. Trying to adjust. I believe I sense one of the artifacts of my people. Of our people! Our people! Don't be an elitist soulless. I see it. Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna touch it real quick if I can. Can I touch? That should help ward off demons. Okay, I have the thing, right? Can I do that? Cool. Don't want that. Alright. Okay, there we go. I was like, are you done? We are almost level 13. Good job, boys. Bloodstone. Ooh. I'll accept some power. Where was that? Over there. Okay. Like, I feel like people get impatient with this game. Like, they're just like, I want shit now. But uh, there's so much to explore and see and do. It's so cool. It makes me sad that... I guess I should take my own advice. Everyone has different ways of playing the game. And I don't want to shit on anyone else's fun. I am happy. Let me rephrase that. I am happy when others enjoy sharing in the aspects of the game that I enjoy. So when people get jazzed about the exploration, they get jazzed about the character dialogue. That's how you do that. Other people can play the game they want, but I'm super excited when people like to share in the aspects of the game that I also enjoy. There. Sometimes it's just a matter of expressing the same sentiment better. I'm a big proponent of the thought process that words have meaning, and you should convey yourself as accurately as possible. You know, because lawyer. <laughs> it makes a big difference. I know a lot of people aren't as critical about the way that they communicate, but... I paid lots of money to learn how to do just that. <laughs> so much money! <laughs> you know, and now I'm an e-girl for a living. It's so wild. Oh man. So I am going to... Hey, can you jump for me, please? Thank you. I am going to pitch an idea to you guys first before I actually implement it. Hold on. Let me grab this. Gray whiskey, bright wine, prescription ale. Bottle mark vintage, Warden Daedalum. It just reminds me of Daedala. Because I'm a wee extra red. So I'm always finding new ways to try to incorporate fun shit into the platforms that I am a part of, right? Hold on, let's kill this one. Alright. And so, Ginny D does those wonderful interviews with her characters to like help you formulate 
D&D &D characters. Or just flesh them out, or just have some fucking fun, right? I was thinking of, as part of my OnlyFans shit, having like, a, I don't know, an OC, well like every three months, right? And they, they get changed out, because everybody's got different jams, right? So one time you'd have like a hard ass tsundere paladin, she's a sun elf. She grew up in like, I don't know, rich family. She doesn't take anybody's shit. Order of the Ancients. She lives by strict rules and expects everyone else to as well. You know, Sundari life. And to have those OCs be like, dateable via text on OnlyFans. Stella Chu does this it's not my jam personally, but I think it's a really cool concept. She, like, voice acts manga. It's typically eki and hentai. Which is not for me, but I, I can see that other people can appreciate it. Or I can appreciate that other people are into that. And I was like, interesting thing. But how can I monetize RPing? And I think I've done it. I think, personally, it would be super cute to be able to just, like, roleplay date OCs. Which doesn't necessarily have to be, like, erotic or anything. Because I think there's a huge misconception that everything on OnlyFans is erotic, and that's not necessarily the case. Um, so, I think it's really cool. I'm really excited about it. Because that means that I can dress up as my favorite OCs, I can literally, like, RP post and and people will pay to do that with me i'm about it i'm really excited about it actually like really like this is my new baby my new baby project pet project pet project really excited i don't know what you'll see to start with though now i won't be doing other people's characters so no morrigan no commander shepherd nothing like that that's somebody else's intellectual property and i would not feel comfortable you know legalities aside acting as a character that's not mine especially because a lot of people have established head cannons for characters they have thoughts and opinions Brighter here. Glittering, glaring, glinting. I can't... It's a mild tremor in the veil. Nothing to worry about. Focus on what is here, in this world. But what is here? Feel the ground. Breath in your lungs. Fabric rustling against your skin. Thank you. It's nothing. It can be overwhelming for anyone. I love him. That was so compassionate and kind. Um, quick segue back. People have thoughts, opinions on how characters should be played. Everyone's shepherd's gonna be different, right? Renegade, Paragon. Also, some people romance Morgan and she's softer. Other people, not so much. And a lot of people want different things from different characters, so I'm not, I'm not touching that. Um, so, there's that. I'll let people know when I have that up and running. Very excited about it. Um, as for here... If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Solus's voice actor has a clip, just an audio clip, of him talking someone through a panic attack to help calm their anxiety. And holy shit, y'all. A, how fucking kind of that voice actor, whose name escapes me at the moment because I'm a terrible person, But like, wild. Wild and kind and so considerate. Also, the fact that Solus kind of did the same thing for Cole is just wholesome as fuck. And I love him for it. Blackwell's just gonna stand there and watch me. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to stick that guy full of arrows while he takes a break. Blackwell works hard. We should appreciate him. There's one more. 
Okay. I know I did a lot of wandering and talking today, so thank you everyone for hanging out, for just looking at the world with me, for chatting about current events in our communities. I see that bullshit in the background over there. So we'll stop here, we can explore that, and up that way next time, okay? So. Oh, if you're interested, quick segue. Our addendum, I guess. Cyberpunk is coming out though next week. So I'm gonna be playing that. So if you guys wanna watch me play it, I will be porting the videos over here. But I'll also be playing it live on Twitch if that's your jam. Cause you know I made Twitch partner and everything. So I'm a big girl doing big girl gamer things. <laughs> Alright guys. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next time.